Are you suffering from weak pelvic floor muscles with diastasis recti or low back pain? Welcome back to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. This is a gentle Pilates program for anyone who has diastasis recti. I have a playlist you can check out and this is the gentle progression. If you just recently given birth like four weeks postpartum or six weeks post c-section to slowly strengthen your lower abdominal muscles safely and effectively. So get your mat ready and join me. Okay, my friends, we'll start lying down on your back slow and easy. And now we're going to slowly with gentle hands overhead. If this is your first time with Pilates, you want to make sure you engage your core with your breath work and neutral spine with a small space at the arch of your back. And if you have diastasis recti, I want to make sure you pull your belly button and tighten. Inhale, exhale. One more deep breath as you lift printing technique. Inhale, exhale. If you want to learn more about printing technique, click the link up there before progressing to this level. I have a seven day absolute beginners program. You can start first so you won't hurt your diastasis recti. Inhale, exhale. Last breath, inhale and exhale. Now with your hands overhead, and slowly bend your knee, inhale, and then slowly exhale to extend, gently, and back, inhale, and down. So you're going to slowly scoop it up, like scoop it up, up, bend to 90, exhale down slowly. So lift up slow when you see with your toes pointing to the ceiling, bend as you scoop it down, slide and easy. And if this is too hard with your hands overhead, you can always start with your hands on your side for more support. So you go up, inhale to 45 degrees, exhale, bend to 90 your knees, and you scoop it down, slide it down. Up, bend, slide it down. Gently and easy. Last one. And down. And now we'll do reverse by sliding your heels down first. Inhale, bend to 90. Exhale to extend and then down. Slow and easy. You're going to feel that in your lower abdominal as you bend to 90 and then slowly extend. And if you're tight on your hamstrings and you can't fully extend, that's okay. It takes time to lengthen. Inhale. Slide, bend to 90, and then slowly extend and down. Don't forget your printing technique and breath work. And down. Pull your belly button in, protect your core. 90, extend, and down. Two more to go. Inhale, exhale, down. Last one. Inhale, exhale, and down. And now we're going to bend your knees, both legs up to 90. As you slowly tap your foot down gently, alternating left and right. Feel your core engage. You can place your hands on your abdomen to feel your core engagement. As you do your gentle breath work. Feel that pressure, making sure your back is in neutral. You can still slide your hand at the small of your back and that's neutral spine. And if you want to learn more about the neutral spine, check the link up on my info card or down in my description below. Two more. Slow and easy. Last one. And double. And now, with your legs up still, if you're getting tired, you can place your hands down and tap down and rest. But if you want to join me now, with your legs extend while in tabletop and then back. So you're alternating left and right extension. You might feel your quadriceps get tired and that's normal. Inhale, 
exhale belly button in and blow two more each leg alternating extend and back to 90 last one and blow now we're gonna slowly extend again and then small side sweep to the side back center and bend so extend to the side center and back to bend to 90 double tabletop and then bend you don't want to make sure you want to do want to twist your spine you want to keep your back and pelvis level as you go to the side center and bend and breath work last one and last one you're in your left and down and now we're going to slowly open your knees out to butterfly position and back center and then squeeze your knees tight to pull everything up and open and close tighten and open and tighten with your breath work two more to go last one and blow and now we're gonna place your legs down to the side we're gonna open your legs out of the mat and we're gonna do from this position you're gonna slowly lift your hips off the mat for bridge with your feet out of the mat to strengthen your pelvic floor and your hip muscles more as you go up you pull your belly button in and you don't want to over arch your spine as you go down one vertebrae at a time bone to bone to the mat to slowly activate your deeper core muscles and then as you lower yourself you do a little bit arch on your back and inhale up belly button in squeeze vacuum and then exhale down one vertebrae at a time and blow two more squeeze as hard as you can and then squeeze your glutes to activate your glutes muscles to help your posture and your sitting control so go up last one and then belly button in and down blow and now place your feet together again on the mat and then with your knees tight together hips tight i'm going to do gentle bridging so you can feel the difference with your feet together and your feet apart and with this one you're strengthening your inner thighs hip groin muscles as you pull everything tight together and blow two more lift belly button in squeeze as hard as you can as you exhale down last one inhale slowly lift belly button in as you exhale down one vertebrae at a time and blow and now back to double tabletop and now lift your leg up and you're gonna do straight leg raise with the double tabletop position and up this is the gentle progression you want to make sure you pull your belly button in as you gently go down if you need to tap the mat and rest that's fine but you want to challenge yourself just hovering off the mat and blow two more and blow squeeze your core in as you challenge yourself and then you can lift your hands up and use your hand to, to on the same side where you're lifting your leg inhale exhale you feel your core engaged and shaking last one and back down blow and then let's go to the other leg extend and lower first warm up and up back to the knee level of your right so you're lowering your left foot down gently go down don't tap the mat to challenge your lower abdominal but if this is too difficult you can put your foot down and support see the difference it's a little bit easier but if you want to challenge always remember pace yourself you know what's good for you if you have c-section this is too difficult so make sure you rest start this 
eight weeks post op, six to eight weeks. And then up and down. Belly button in and blow. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. And down. And the last one. We're going to slowly lift your body a little bit of abdominal work. And uh, slow and easy. You don't want to strain your thighs. Stay ready. Just hold on and squeeze it in. And if this is too difficult because you have a space there, try not to lift too high. Just gentle. Feel your core engage. It's not about as high as you can go. It's about how slowly you can engage your abdominal muscles safely. Lift gently. And if this is too difficult, you can start with your feet down and lift. And that's why I have the beginner's program. You can start first because this is a little bit more advanced now. For anyone who just wants to jump into the program, having the foundation on my 7-day Absolute Beginners program, click the link up there to follow through before progressing to this level if this is too difficult. Last one. And rest. And now we're cooling down with proper stretching. Knees to chest to stretch your back. Feel that release on your low back muscles. Inhale, exhale. Now slowly rock side to side to release any tension in your low back muscles. And blow. And now you can do single knee to chest to release the tension, isolating the muscles. So pull and then slowly open. And then pull again and go past the midline to feel the stretch. And then back down and let's go to the other leg. Knee to chest. Slowly open to the side. Feel that lovely inner side, inner groin stretch, and then go past midline for your hip and IT band and piriformis muscle. And now we're going to slowly go to your stomach safely, do a gentle forearm stretch, and extend for an upward facing dog and down slow and easy. Slow, go up. Inhale, feel that abdominal muscle stretching gently. Exhale down. With diastasis recti, you don't want to overstretch. You just want to feel until you feel the tension to stretch it gently. And down blow. Now, hands and knees. And do a gentle side to side twist on your hips to rock side to side on your pelvic floor muscles. Inhale. Exhale, feels so good on your back. Last one. To a gentle, open your knees out for a frog pose. And rest there. And hold that for three deep breaths to end our program. Last deep breath. And that's it. I'm hoping you enjoyed this lovely postpartum gentle pilates and yoga exercises that you can do to slowly strengthen your lower abdominal. And this is also great for anyone with low back pain, post C-section after six to eight weeks. You want to make sure you wait until your scar is fully healed and your incision. You don't want to just jump to any program. And my recommendation, if you've never done any Pilates in your past and you want to start to strengthen your core, please do the seven-day absolute beginners program first before embarking to this a little bit more progressive exercise. If you want me to guide you safely and effectively, I just reopened my back masterclass registration. Click the link down below and join me as I guide you safely and effectively to slowly rebuild your strength again. For anyone who had postpartum, weak pelvic floor, pelvic floor dysfunction, umbilical hernia, diastasis recti, or anyone with neck and low back pain who needed that extra 
guide and support and you don't know where to start and I'm here to help. If you have any questions regarding this program and my back masterclass, leave a message on my social media and I'll try my best to answer each one of you. If you want to learn more from me about Pilates Yoga and Physical Therapy, Health and Wellness, so please subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of my lovely workout videos and health advice. Always remember, be safe, be well, and healthy. See you on my next video. Bye.